Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Coach Manny here, AKA Handles Manny here. We're wearing the power hands gloves. We're gonna be doing power hands drills, making sure we're working on our ball handling and optimizing our time spent with these to warm up pre-game, warm up pre-practice. Let's get started. So for those of us who are new to power hands, we're gonna start off with a one ball drill, but my favorite with power hands, is they're already so tough, is adding two balls. But let's get started with one. One of our first drills is just gonna be Nash drill, which is made famous by the, by the two-time MVP point guard, Steve Nash. And it's just gonna be a simple crossover between the legs behind the back. But with the power hands, something so simple suddenly becomes twice as hard. Take a look. So this next drill is gonna be less about a finesse and it's all about power, baby. So we wanna be making sure with these power hands, we're putting everything we can into this basketball. We're gonna be going 20 seconds high dribbles and if you don't have a timer or somebody, a partner to keep your time, you can just do 20 dribbles. We're gonna go 20 high dribbles, which will be above your waist, 20 dribbles to the knee, and then 20 dribbles to your ankles. Let me demonstrate. Once you've got that move down, I think you're good enough to go two ball moves. So let's go with two ball drills. Adding in another ball is gonna make it twice as tough wearing these power hands. They're gonna consist of 30 seconds of double pounds, which is pounding the balls together, and then 30 seconds alternating, pounding them separately. If you don't have someone to take your time, or you can't take time yourself, you can just go ahead and do 30 pounds of each, and just try to make sure you put in the most work possible. This drill is completely about power. Pound the ball, try to force yourself to lose it, and force those fingertips to flex to gain full control control of the ball all the way through the time. Notice how I'm dribbling the ball above my waist. That's all the power that I'm putting into the ball. If you're not dribbling the ball where it's nearly hitting your shoulder, you are not dribbling hard enough. Take my word for it. All right guys, now this one's my last one I'm gonna show you in this video, but keep in mind, there are hundreds of ball handling videos you can do with these power hands. These are just four of my favorites, so let's get into this last one. This one's gonna have a little bit of ball manipulation in it, which ball manipulation simply means when you're being able to move the ball around at your leisure, move it into whatever direction that you want, showing that you have full control of the ball, not just being able to dribble quick, not just being able to dribble slow, but moving it in the direction without carrying. Watch this. So the major key here in this ball manipulation is making sure that you understand that you're getting alternating dribbles here. It's gonna go like one, two, three, push cross on that right hand and drop cross with that left hand. A push cross is the one that's coming across the body without carrying the ball. That's that ball manipulation we talked about. The left hand is doing a drop cross, which is going into pushing it with force to the ground and making sure it reaches that right hand. As we keep this alternating rhythm, I'm making sure the push cross went first, so it's ending up in my left hand now. The drop cross will then end up in my right hand after. This is not an easy drill. You have to make sure you get the timing down on this and make the ball sing, which simply means finding a rhythm with the ball and making it go at that same rhythm every time. That's when you have optimal ball control. All right guys, that's all I got for you for these power hands drills. These are my four favorite. Keep in mind, there are hundreds more and these all can be done without the power hands as well. You just wanna make sure that you do these every day to be the best ball handler you can be. Make sure we dribble with purpose, dribble with confidence, and make sure we make that ball sing. Don't forget those three points. All right, you guys, let's get that training mentality. Keep working.